it's Michaela, and you are watching a fun size style. So for today's video, I have another monthly, I almost said Ipsy, but this is Sweet Sparkle Beauty Box. If you guys are living under a rock, obsessed with, or you wouldn't know, I'm obsessed with Sweet Sparkle Beauty Box. It's a monthly beauty subscription service featured around an entire makeup look, so they include products to create a certain makeup look every month. You guys know I'm playing catch up with these boxes, but I finally almost caught up. I didn't subscribe to for 2020 this year because I'm still playing catch up. Be starting fresh, hopefully in 2021. Sweet Sparkle Beauty Box offers free worldwide shipping anywhere in the world and you can partake in Sweet Sparkle Beauty Box. I'll have my previous, or my previous Sweet Sparkle Beauty Box videos Link down below in case you're interested in seeing what these boxes are like as a whole and just my previous box. You guys know I love them because I've been subscribed for so long now. But mostly why I love them is because they're the only subscription box that's curated around an entire makeup look. So the next video that you'll see is a corresponding makeup tutorial that goes along with this theme. That's pretty much it. Like I said, I've done so many of these videos. So I'll have a link down in the description box below where you can sign up for Sweet Sparkle Beauty Box if you're interested. And without further ado, let's go ahead and see what's inside my Sweet Sparkle Beauty Box. So as I mentioned, this box theme is Yuri Fall. Comes with the card and then just has the name of the product and the price point and all of that. So we'll reference that as we go on. But I'm seeing some really amazing valued products in this box. So let's go ahead and get right on into wow, it. Wow, this is super nice. So the first product here is an entire palette from JCat Beauty. I don't know why I said an entire palette. What would it be, a half palette? I don't know. This is the Extreme Access Pocket Shadow Extreme Palette. This is the Red Carpet Premiere Palette. And then it looks like they have several other palettes in this Access Pocket Shadow Collection. But this is the one that I received. It looks like it's perfect for a Fury Fall Makeup Tutorial. So here's what the palette looks like. There's so many shades in this palette. 12 shades. That's really nice. And I love how many shadows there are, but yeah, this is like super compact. Obviously, they call it the Pocket Excess Eyeshadow Palette. This kind of palette would be perfect for travel. I'm going to have to see what other shades they have. But here's what the palette looks like. I'll go ahead and swatch some of these for you guys. You can see what the pigment is like in the color payoff. This is the top half of the palette. I will say that they don't seem to have matte shadows. They aren't very pigmented, but the shimmer shadows are absolutely gorgeous. All super blendable. Like, even the matte shades are super, super blendable. So I'm definitely excited about that. So I think once I put some primer on my lids and really work with the shadow, I can create a beautiful look. And there's just so many different looks I could create with this. I'll see if I can try to insert a better picture, but you guys know swatches are can be a little, a little on the challenging side. I'm super excited to give this palette a try, and I'm glad I was able to swatch all these shadows for you guys. This is a really great palette overall. I'm definitely going to look more into these excess pocket shadow palettes because of the amount of color and the overall quality. These are just super convenient to travel because sometimes I have a hard time picking what palette I want travel with me because I need something that's compact, has a wide variety of mattes and shimmers. But I feel like travel friendly eyeshadow palettes are hard to come by nowadays with a mixture of matte and shimmer. I'm definitely going to look more into these and I think you guys should too. This JCat Beauty Extreme Access Pocket Shadow Palette retails for $7.99. The next product that I received in my Fury Fall Sweet Sparkle Beauty Box, IBY Beauty and this is Dual Brow Highlighter. I've never used a dual brow highlighter so I'm going to have to see if there's some instruction on YouTube. I mean obviously I know you said to highlight your brow bone and stuff. But I've just never used like a dual pencil before. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch these. IBY Beauty products never disappoint. I cannot see these because they're so shimmery and bright. I'll see if I can insert a picture of some swatches. But I promise you they are so pigmented. Like I'm honestly blown away. But again, totally not surprised because IBY Beauty never lets me down. I feel like it's such an underrated brand. And whenever I talk about IBY Beauty products, whether it be in a Sweet Sparkle Beauty Box or an Ipsy, I always say how underrated they are. But it really is true. Like some of my favorite eyeshadows are from IBY Beauty and the quality of their products are just impeccable. So even though I haven't used a dual brow highlighter pencil product before, I'm sure that I will get the hang of this and it will really transform my makeup. Because like I said, I'm never disappointed or have yet to be disappointed with IBY Beauty products. And they're just so easy to work with because of how well made the products are and the quality of each product. Even though I'm not super familiar with this, I'm not too nervous because it is IBY Beauty and I have yet to be disappointed. This will be a great new product for me to try. And another reason why I love Sweet Sparkle Beauty Box is, again, I say this, in every Sweet Sparkle Beauty Box, it makes me branch out and try new products and types of products that I wouldn't try otherwise because I challenge myself to create that month's theme every 
box. We're gonna do this and it's gonna work great. I said it here. The dual brow highlighter retails for $8. I think there may have been an error on my card, on my information card, with the product and the brand. I received a product from Shella, but there's no information. Like, this isn't even one of the brands listed on my card. So I think they either accidentally listed a brand that I didn't receive a product from or just forgot to add this product. I don't really know. I'll have to look up the retail value of this product when it comes time for me to share. This is the beautiful blonde eyebrow cream. And obviously, I'm about as brunette as they so get. This would be the first that I've ever received a product in my Sweet Sparkle Beauty Box. I totally couldn't use because it was not the right shade. With products like that relate to skin tone, they tend to pick pretty universal shades for the most part. Obviously, skin tone is so unique and diversified. You can't get it for everybody. Usually, it's pretty universal. Either that or tend to stay away from products that are more shade-based, if that makes sense. Like, skin tone-based color. There was one time that I received an eyebrow pencil. I forgot what brand it was, but it said it was in the shade blonde, but when I applied it, it really wasn't that blonde, so I was able to make it work. Typically, cello products are really nice, so maybe I can make this work. This is the brush side that I opened first. This is really odd. I've never used a product like this, but it looks like the product is inside. I'm gonna try to swatch this and see how blonde it is. It will totally work. It's not blonde at all. I've never used an eyebrow cream though, and these are super pigmented. Okay, this is totally fine. It's not that blonde at all. So I will be able to make this work. It's a lot darker than it, it looked like it was going to be. This brush is so nice too. I just feel like there's brands that nobody talks about. Look how blendable that is. Oh, I thought I was going to be disappointed, but I wasn't. Sweet Sparkle Beauty Box came through again, so we'll make this work in the Fury Fall makeup tutorial. I just can't get over how well that blends. Like that's such a nice quality. I think it's going to make my brows look real good. As I mentioned earlier, I will put the retail value of that product here in the corner because they made a clerical error, I guess you would say, on my card because the Chella product isn't even listed on here. So more info to come on that. The next product is by Koki Cosmetics and this is the Smooth Glow Hydrating Foundation Primer. I've tried so many products from Koki Cosmetics, I almost have enough, I think, to do a whole makeup look almost. Maybe I should stock up on a few Koki Cosmetics products that I don't have and do a full look at this point because I have so many products from this brand now between my different subscription boxes. But this is the Smooth Glow Hydrating Foundation Primer, as I just said. Not much to say about it until I try it out in this tutorial, but I do want to just see how it feels. I'm typically impressed with their products. This really doesn't say much for you guys, but it's super smooth. Like, there's all this makeup that I have on tonight. It's very pigmented because I couldn't even wash it all off. The foundation primer just feels really nice, super blendable, and I love how smooth and it feels very hydrating, as it says it is. But yeah, I'm super excited to try that out, but like I said, there's really not much to say about that product until I try it out in the makeup tutorial. This foundation primer retails for $11. I believe this is the last product in the box, and this is by LA Splash, and it's the Classic Horror Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Frankie. We're gonna go ahead and swatch this. I received a couple liquid lipsticks from LA Splash in previous Sweet Sparkle Beauty Boxes, and I really, really like them. LA Splash has a lot of liquid lipsticks for this colors for this time of year as well. Fun packaging. They must have had some kind of limited edition collection release recently. But this is the Presents Classic Horror, and as I mentioned, it's in the shade Frankie. So we'll go ahead and swatch this and see if it's perfect for a fiery fall makeup tutorial. So here's what the liquid lipstick looks like. A lot more of a bold look than I thought, but I guess I should have noticed by the color of the card and the fact that it's a fiery fall. This will be super fun and bold. Really excited to try this. I say that about every product. I need to find new ways to describe things. I do love how smooth it is. Really, really excited to put this on my lips in the makeup tutorial. This LA Splash li liquid lipstick retails for $16. So that is everything in the Fury Fall Sweet Sparkle Beauty Box. Mess with everything that is in my Sweet Sparkle, has been in my Sweet Sparkle Beauty Boxes lately, especially this box. Sometimes my Sweet Sparkle Beauty Box is like one or two products that I exempt myself from in the tutorial because even though I use the, these boxes as an opportunity to branch out, there's certain products like eyeliner and lashes and things like that that I never use anyway, and so I don't use the tutorial, but this box, I will utilize everything. I'll have all the products linked down in the description box below in case you're interested in recreating this Fury Fall makeup tutorial along with me. If you guys have any questions, we should leave them in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!